in Ukraine, Telegram is the most dangerous. Can I have my PowerPoint, please? <coughs> Detector Media conduct weekly studies of uh, Ukrainian media in Ukraine, and the uh, general results are always the same. In case of Russian disinformation, Twitter is surprisingly not that bad, or was, now we will see. Uh, Facebook and YouTube make me lose my hope in humanity. And then you have Telegram, not just the worst of them all, but real safe haven for Russian propaganda. Why is that? Because of three main reasons. First of all is anonymity. You can have successful Telegram channel with a million subscribers without once showing your real name, real photo, or any credentials beyond phone number. Because of that, in Ukraine, we have quite influential channel literally called Shadow Anonymous, for God's sake. Uh, but the problem isn't just that anybody can create a channel, it's that anybody can pretend to be anybody else, which Russia did. In the first days of the invasion, they created this whole network of uh, fake channels for Ukrainian city they would like to conquer. Channels with really believable Ukrainian names, and of course just the best of ideas. Like, guys, let's join Russia for a try, why not? Next problem is moderation. In terms of moderation, Russia, uh, Telegram has no moderation. If you know some uh, Russian propagandists by name, like Exhibit A, Vladimir Solovyov, he is already banned in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, MySpace, uh, Friendster, and probably PlayStation Network. But he is still active in Telegram. And when I say mm -hmm. active, I mean active. A Russian media person and uh, government official like to incite genocide in Telegram, because why not? You can do anything here. They like to threaten Europe with, and the whole world with nuclear threats, and of course, lie. Uh, this is, uh, to be honest, my, the most uh, favorite Telegram post of all time. It's personal, because four hours into invasion, this channel called Legitimate, with almost one million subscribers, posted that we're all going to die, guys. We have no air defense anymore. Our sky is open. This is the end. Well, what a shame then, then after that this post, uh, Russia lost to Ukrainian air defense almost 300 different aircrafts, just with visual confirmation. Third problem is uh, Telegram is really popular in Ukraine. To be perfectly honest with you, by now it is the main source of news for Ukrainians. I guess we just like uh, hard mode or something, I don't know. T we will skip this one. Okay, so my part of this called a Telegram as a tool during wartime. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that when you use something during wartime, it's not a tool, it's a weapon. And Russia uses Telegram as such. Your normal uh, conquer of another country starts with rockets and some aviation, then artillery barrages, and then you send soldiers. But for Russia, it all was just a second wave, because Telegram was already there. Two years ago, our security service uncovered this whole channel of, Ru of Ukrainian Telegram channels, really run by Russia intelligence. So, Russia believe then uh, in uh, January 2022, this uh, channel make Ukrainian to greet Russian soldiers with flowers and not bullets. Well, they didn't go that well for like 90,000 Russian soldiers by now, but Telegram warfare continues. Uh, Ukraine, um, Telegram Detector Media weekly find out some new uh, Russian operations in Telegram, like against uh, our um, refugees in Europe, against the Europe itself and the European sanctions, against uh, Western weapon in Ukraine, against uh, their own uh, uh, genocide and other crimes, uh, against uh, Ukrainian counteroffensive, and also, of course, again nuclear threats for Europe and the whole world. So, network is still there. Uh, this slide shows us a map of a known uh, Russian intelligence uh, channel in Ukraine, in Telegram, and uh, they all interconnected with repos. So, channel, it's really a net network. When, when, uh, when, when you analyze this map, um, and you look at what Telegram channels people are actually using, um, do you find that people are using these Telegram channels that are without realizing they're Russian well, some of Telegram them. channels or not? Well, some of them. But uh, when I ask uh, my colleagues and friends, why do you use Telegram? It's a Russian network. <coughs> they say, 
I read uh, some uh, government officials, like mayor of my city, some war experts, some good guys in quality media, and two or three Russian channels just for fun and general awareness. So they know it's for fun, but it's like uh, in a restaurant you order some uh, coffee, some meat, and just uranium for fun. <laughs>